I have for you something really interesting. We don't have this in the US yet, but hopefully it's coming this year. This is Mercedes electric hybrid drive. It's super efficient and extremely powerful, giving you performance of both worlds, gasoline and electric. They come with two options, over 800 horsepower and under 600 horsepower. This GT 63S model is on European market since 2021. It was shipped to US for this event to show where the system are used. And later, you'll see the company rep will give us their detailed explanation and how this all works. This is an older design frame that I like more compared to the oval squashed 2025 shape Mercedes released in the US. I think this looks more sportier, more appealing, more aggressive with over 800 horsepower. We make the hybrid drive unit for this car. That's why we have it here. On that stage, Stand there. Yeah. So you're so part of a Mercedes, not Mercedes directly, right? We, we sell to the to Mercedes, so okay. we're like the, the tier one supplier. I thought you were Mercedes, that's why. Oh no. <laughs> For some reason, because I saw I like know. the, you know. We're, we're a, a tier one supplier, like a lot of the. But suppliers. this is the older model, this is not a new model, because the new model looks new. ugly. No, this is a brand new This model. is a brand new model? Yeah. I this never seen this, is like looks like older style. No? The, the new one is like this freaking is a like it's like a, uh, like a uh, arrow. Yeah, because this one here is, I think, uh, is two years old. We imported this yeah, one from Europe. Yeah, this is the older uh, chassis. Just, so we imported this one from Europe because it was the first one to have our hybrid drive unit in it. I now see. the ones in the U.S. are starting to come out with that, that hybrid they drive They have unit. like those uh, full rims, lower, more like uh, like like an X, like, like, yeah. like compressed X. So that's why I like more of this design. And this yeah. is the AMG, this is the uh, Sport uh, Edition. So it's like really powerful. It's and a, like 840 horsepower. Yeah, yeah, and it's like almost like three tons, right? It's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. Is it possible to pop the hood to see what's on there? Um, I don't think they let us do that right now, but I see. yeah. But yeah. it's just a, the Mercedes standard twin turbo I see, I see, I see. V8. Still impressive. It's not just, you know, it's a, it's a, it's yeah. a, it's a you know, big of engineering. Quite. It's the one of the best the, uh, drives. It's, it's their standard, you know, the, what, 640-ish horsepower V8. And then you've got another 200 horsepower. The electric, electric yeah. yeah. Which helps a lot. Takeoff is insane. Yeah. I tried one of these, like, I mean, similar had this one like, a couple of years ago in Europe. It is, I mean, it's not Tesla plat, but it's close. It's, it's like, yeah, it's still fast. Still yeah. the two something second zero to yeah, 60 yeah. range. The so. only advantage is that Tesla at 145, 150 miles an hour slows down and this picks this up. This keeps going. Yeah, and picks up a little faster. So that, that's the difference. But uh, yeah. maintenance, you know, oil change, belts, that's what bothers this, me. This is a very complicated system. They yeah, yeah, very, very complicated. Yeah. In here, yeah, yeah, even even the electric boater has a two speed gearbox on it, so wow, but that's compact. I have to record the thing because I haven't got there yet. But uh, thank you for the info, this yeah. is impressive. Thank you so much. And look at this unit here. So, I guess you know, gearbox and what the the rep said earlier like you know, one chamber, one oil cools off and lubricates everything, like how you know all the connections look at the connectors like i mean there's not much i mean there's there's less moving parts than the gasoline engine for sure like one to what to 50 one to 100 maybe i don't know exact number but still here it's less to service less to replace and i'm sure you'll drive 300,000 miles maybe a half a million miles and until you have to like open the place maybe the oil or maybe like replace some parts that you know have some some wear and tear but that's pretty much it. But look how compact it is and how light it is. And here is the unit we talked about earlier. It looks like a piece of art. Like the engineering is insane. And here you guys can pause and get the, the specs. Here's 325 volts. So. Look at this, this is so compact. It's in one place, two in one light duty E-beam axle. You have the motor, also looks like a gearbox here, enclosed in one place. Looks like it's over in one enclosure, like it's over one shaft. This is for those guys. You can look at underneath this one. Underneath this one. And the Fox suspension, this is pretty cool. Look at that, wow, this is really cool. So, see charging port right there. So this is available on the market but nobody talks about this, nobody knows, and this is so efficient, so much more power. Like, I'm telling you guys, people hate Tesla and Cybertruck. I drive Model X, just plug in in the evening, I'm plug in the morning, and that's all I do. Uh, only pay insurance, and one time replace, replace the tires in the back, because the rear, and I put the kit on the rear camber kit for the Model X, because it's heavy and uh, has, you know, dust copping on the, the wheels in the back, because of the weight. 
nothing else besides that just insurance and charging is free where I live so it's impressive the engineering that went into this is just incredible and uh, yeah this is the one unit look how compact it is and no service no maintenance this is what I like I pay once and I use it as long as I need it versus you know like servicing especially hypercars you have to like every 10,000 miles oil replace belts you know like swap things it's just this is just no maintenance it's incredible people still don't you know agree and accept with this and don't try the unit here that's the same as over there right it's just this is exposed and open you can see it inside right yeah this is just cut away so cut away yeah they're they're different designs obviously different power levels all that stuff but what's the power levels can you tell us some some okay. information about it this one's 100 kilowatts this okay just for a single output for like a wheel line motor so you can do the wheel yeah you still wheel, have yeah. a short drive shaft but you can have up to four of these in the, in the vehicle and what's the power output speed acceleration this, this one does this motor goes 24,000 rpm wow that's insane yeah We've even tested them up to 30,000 RPM. I posted a short on my Instagram that went over 2.2 million views and there's so much hate there towards electric drives and performance, cost and efficiency versus maintenance. You have to go and take a look. It's just like, it's so crazy, so extreme. So like people are not aware of what's going on. Lucid team confirmed zero repairs and maintenance on their units. How about these drives? Same. It's Same. It's zero maintenance, no service required. Electric, electric motors. They last millions of miles, right? Yeah. Yeah. These people don't. Have been around for a long time. People don't understand. People don't believe. But this yeah. is like this is the, the next right step, next yeah. next jam, right? A lot of electric cars on the market today don't have normal service intervals for their EVs. Yeah. So. I have my Lex. I have 47, 48,000 miles in four years, zero service. Yeah, you've got a, a oil pump and oil filter back here. Uh, air to water or uh, oil to water heat exchanger this is, this is kind of like the standard components of of what these electric drive units are we just made it a lot more compact and the top is the converter electronics so the con so, control so that's, right? yeah that's so that system is basically the same amount of components as this one we just integrated that a lot better on this one i see i see, I see so I see. our inverter is right here i see oh it's oh it's inside it's so small yeah. wow and how much it weighs um i don't know if it says on here yeah, I think it doesn't say, just voltage yeah. 350. But, but um, this this unit is very compact and we have our the silicon carbide MOSFETs, so power switches. Mm -hmm. Normally they're in that box on the top. We integrated it here in the end of the so motor. So it's more compact, yeah. And we cool them with oil. Almost everyone else cools them with uh, the water. Water, yeah. Water system. So we use the oil to cool the electronics the motor and then lubricate the gearbox. It's more efficient, yeah. Single fluid. Single fluid, yeah, so for both chambers, for all the, yeah. yeah. This is insane. This is like, I can't believe now we have this. Imagine like in five, 10 years. Yeah. It's gonna be insane. Thank you so much for all the info. Thank you. Welcome. This unit is going into this car. So this is the V8 V Turbo Performance. And this is sitting in this hybrid Mercedes. So this is really cool. So you have a petrol, a gasoline engine, and you have this electric unit making it more efficient so you can drive either one or both and get this car to go and perform much better impressive tech guys and it's 2019 so I'm not sure why we only see it now at CES in 2025 but this car is sick I like this design I like this older like style look really, really cool again this unit look how compact and how small it is this is impressive